afternoon folks big Bo here with another great diesel value from parkway rv center folks today we're going to look at probably one of the nicest 2000 model fleetwood discoveries you're going to find uh, on the market today this is a model 37g 38 feet long with one slide out has 49,000 miles folks this thing's got all the books and manuals tons of service records this has been a well cared for motorhome. It's got the 275 horsepower, 5.9 liter Cummins turbo diesel in the back. Uh, 660 pound feet of torque. This thing will go as fast as you want to go. It's got the upgrade 7.5 Onan diesel generator in the front that's running right now. Motor's running right now. Folks, keep in mind this is a 17 year old motorhome it looks as good as most 2009s or 10s on the market today uh, this unit brand new in 2000 was hundred and thirty seven thousand dollars you want to buy a brand new one that won't even touch a new discovery today folks now the 16s and 17s start out at two hundred ninety thousand dollars for the Fleetwood discoveries so you even if you wanted to buy a new one for 140 you couldn't touch it for that but folks, this is a great chance to save about $100,000 to get a nice motor home with years and years of life left to it if you take care of it. I mean, folks, this thing is just immaculate for the year model. Now, folks, again, 17 years old. I'm sure if you spend enough time looking around this thing, you'll probably find a few imperfections. I don't see any just looking through it, but I'm sure if you looked hard enough and long enough, you'll probably find a few. But that's part of a 17 year old motorhome folks that's why you're saving a hundred thousand dollars the michelin tires on this thing look almost brand new um and i'm gonna tell you folks and i've said it before and it has a lot of sense to it when somebody has a used motorhome and they spend almost twice as much to buy michelin tires over the other cheaper brands like the toyos the coopers the other ones then they obviously care about their coach it's got the uh, upgrade alloy wheels, a 22 and a half inch alloy wheels. Full basement storage. It's got the Illumigard patio awning. It's got the Illumigard window awnings. No delamination. The roof looks great. The motorhome runs and drives perfectly. We drove it 500 miles in, running the generator and the, and the uh, rear engine almost the entire time. Got a 5,000 pound hitch on the back, and you can tow more than 5,000 pounds if you put a, a higher class hitch on it. Now folks, this has got the 275 horsepower engine. In 2000, this was available in either a 275 or a 300. I know a lot of dealers would just say they're 300s when they're not, but this is the 275. Folks, only difference between a 275 and a 300 horse ISB Cummins is the programming. You can uh, have it uh, programmed and have the horsepower moved up if you wanted to, but the torque between a 275 and a 300 is still the same. And torque is where you get your power from, not horsepower in a diesel. Motor home runs great. I mean, look at this thing, folks. The corners, they're not beat up. I mean, this is a very well-maintained motor home slide out topper Michelin tires notice this cargo base come out with a slide out for easy, easy loading so you don't have to hit your head every time you want to get in your cargo bay 7.5 diesel Onan diesel generator which just like the motor you literally cannot wear a diesel out folks Glass is perfect, windshields are perfect, Freightliner chassis, Cummins diesel, that's a combination, folks, that, that can't be beat. Power steps, got the door awning, roof's been maintained, I can tell from the sides that they've, they've kept the roof serviced. Let's take a look inside, and folks, when's the last time you saw a 17-year-old motorhome? in this kind of condition look at the seats flex steel captain's chairs power they're not they're not uh, wrinkled they're not dried out all leather they swivel for party seating 
got the opposing sofas. They're both leather. This is all factory original, folks. Nobody's modified this. Headliner. Carpeted headliner with absolutely no water stains or sag to it. Up here in the front, got the original TV. You've got the DVD, VCR. I've got the motor running right now. I, even though it looks like the... Uh, the backup camera is flickering. It's not in person, folks. That's just the difference between the refresh rate of this HD camera versus the refresh rate of that H of that CRT monitor. In person, folks, I guarantee you it's got a clear picture and it's not flickering whatsoever. Six-speed Allison adaptive transmission. Got the air suspension and you've also got the lower option where you can lower it down to go under a shed or something like that. Uh, engine retarder, pa heated power mirrors, no check engine lights on the dash. It's got a brake light on because I've got the brakes on like you're supposed to. Uh, 257 hours on the Onan diesel generator, folks. Incredible. I mean, this is literally about as... You couldn't ask for a 2000 model to be any nicer than this. You can see the carpet's not stained up. It's obviously been clean and uh, maintained. Got a manual point satellite system. Here is all your uh, CD changer, a battery, un uh, hooks and unhooks. It's got a built-in inverter. And of course, over here, even these little clips right here on the end, those things are always missing, folks, but they're on all the cabinets in here. DVD, VCR. It's, uh, got the J-Lounge sofa, and you've got the sleeper sofa across from it. In the, so you can sleep one on the J lounge and that other sofa will fold out and you can sleep two there. So there's three, four, five total you can sleep in this motorhome. All original cabinets. Uh, both I've got both roof airs right on right now. They're ice cold. Got a microwave, confection oven combo, a stove top. We'll make sure all this stuff works, folks. Very little use showing on the stove top. Corian countertops, solid wood cabinets. Floor looks great. Got the table and chairs. <laughs> I mean, wow. And folks, this unit's going to include a major systems check by our certified RV techs that will be completed after purchase. And let me explain that a little bit. We're going to go through a pretty extensive checklist on this motorhome. And it's going to include, but not limited to, uh, the jacks, the slide outs, the generator, the roof airs, the refrigerator on gas and electric. It's going to include all the drawers and cabinets, all the lights, all the plumbing system, water heaters. Uh, it's going to include the inverter. It's going to include the backup camera. It's going to make sure there's no plumbing leaks anywhere, of course, all your faucets and spigots, all that's included. It's going to include checking out the propane system, leak testing it, pressure checking it checking your furnace, checking everything attached to it, your stove top. Uh, make sure all that stuff functions like it's supposed to. Um, of course, anything we find wrong with it, we're going to fix in that, no matter what it costs. Um, folks, it, we're going to include the vent fans. It includes, Lord, uh, like I said, drawers, cabinets, all the lights, make sure all those work. Um, includes a complete demonstration by one of my RV techs when you pick it up, and much more. In the awnings too, it covers the awnings. You know, if they're not in good shape, we'll either replace the fabric, replace the hardware, whatever it needs. And and again, folks, whatever it takes to make it pass that inspection, we're going to spend on it. And folks, I'm going to tell you, um, and that's all included for the price. The price is only $39.9, folks. That's a haggle-free price with the inspection. Now, folks, if you if you don't want to do the inspection. If you just want to buy it as is, that's why I've got everything running right now so you can see all the major systems work like the generator, the roof airs, the refrigerators. Now, if you just want to come get it, take it off the lot like it said, say the good with the bad with no checkout or no walkthrough, we'll discount the price with the what the inspection cost us. But, um, you know, if you want it with all the services I just described, folks, the price is $39.9 out the door. There's no extra fees and it is a haggle-free price. Uh, it's got the upgrade side-by-side -side refrigerator freezer. This is a two-way Dometic, and it's ice cold already. Um, it's got the central vacuum cleaner that works. 
Boy, that air feels good. Folks, it's all right. I know it's just made, but it's already almost 90 degrees out here today. It's got the washer and dryer. We'll make sure that works. You've got a walk-through bathroom. And also, folks, on that checkout, keep in mind, uh, I forgot to mention this, we don't check these things out at all until we sell them. And once they're sold, they go into line in the back. We're, we sell five to 600 used RVs a year, so keep in mind, we, uh, you know, there's, I don't know how many at the time's going to be in front of it, but these units are checked out in the order that they were sold. So once you once it's sold, uh, it'll go into queue in the back, or what we call queue or in line. It get a certain place in line, and when it, it, it and when it moves up to the shop, we'll pull it in. My certified RV techs are going to spend several hours on this coach. If they don't find anything wrong with it, they're still spending several hours checking everything and fixing anything on that list that may not function, which I can't imagine this thing. Like I said, it's got a stack of service records. It's got all the books and manuals. Somebody put Michelin tires on it. Somebody's taking very, very good care of it. So I can't imagine this particular one needing much, if anything at all. But we will make sure, and you can see around your skylight, no water stains, no water marks, none of that junk. Um, but we, you know, we'll make sure it works great. Now, I can't tell you on the video how long it'll take to check the unit out because I don't know when you're going to buy it. I mean, if it's a week or two from now, you know, we may not have that many in queue um, in front of it. It just depends on when you buy it. Today's May 12th, 2017. So, of course, if it's more than a week or two, this unit's probably already belonged to somebody else. But if you want the current lead time for a used Class A diesel to get checked out, just call our non-commissioned salespeople and they will give you a current time. Is what I'm getting at. And also, if you want to see a copy of our checklist and what all we check out for the price you pay, uh, again, call our non-commissioned salespeople to send you over a blank checkout sheet so you can see for yourself how extensively we go over these RVs when we sell them. Here in the back bedroom, you got a Queen Island bed. And keep in mind, folks, we're standing right on top of a 275 horsepower 5.9 Cummins diesel engine. That's how well insulated it is. It's, it's actually pretty quiet in here. Very, very little vibration. Uh, got a TV back here in the corner. And again, the headliner looks perfect. Got the crown molding. Plenty of lights, they all work. Um, nice cabinetry. Some of them are finished out actually, where they're all enclosed. Uh, they, you've got his and her nightstands with drawers, plug-ins. Very, very nicely laid out. You know, we sell more discoveries than just about anything. And if you look through my video history, you're probably going to see dozens of other discoveries that we've had over the years. And we buy these things because they're so well built, folks, um, for the price range motorhome. Definitely one of the better choices in this price range. I'm not going to say there's not nicer motorhomes out there, but in this under $40,000 diesel price range, folks, the Fleetwood Discovery is definitely in the top three as far as brands are concerned in quality. And, you know, I look at these things a little different than most of y'all do. I see these things, you know, I know a lot of you look at these things when they're brand new and, and look at them after the dealers had them and gone through them and reconditioned them. Folks, I see these things as they are. I see them when they're 10, 15, 17 years old. I see which brands hold up after 15 or 17 years and which ones don't. And Fleetwood, of course, you're talking this is the 50th anniversary edition and they're still in business today. You're talking about one of the founding members of the RV industry and they built more Class A's than any other manufacturer in the RV industry over their past 60 plus years of experience. But folks, I see these things all the time and these Fleetwood Discoveries are just well, well made and hold up very well. Folks, let me put it to you this way. If you perform all the service, all the maintenance on this motorhome and you fix any repairs that it needs, I have no doubt in my mind, I'll still see this thing on the road 20 years from now because these things are so well built, they just last and last and last. And, and be honest with you, I've seen the new 16s in, 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 the, uh, in the Fleetwood Discoveries, and they're nice. But when you look at how they're built, even though they're $290,000, I, to this day, do not think they're built as well as these 2,000 models were. 
uh, just looking at the fit and finish and the quality and the heaviness of the construction I don't think personally they're built as well as these were and I seriously doubt even the ones that are two hundred ninety thousand dollars now I seriously doubt they're going to look as good as this one will when they're 17 years old now, I may be wrong that's my personal opinion but you know like I said I look at things things a little different than most of you do um, but folks for a 17 year old motorhome like I said earlier it's not perfect but I seriously doubt you're going to have a, you're going to have a hard time finding another 17 year old motorhome for this price in this good of condition with under 50,000 miles and you know mileage on a diesel is nothing I mean that's like buying a gas burner with 25,000 miles because that diesel is going to outlast two maybe possibly three gas burner engines that's why people spend more up front for the diesel because they get the longevity plus it's built on a heavier chassis than a gas and it's just got a lot better ride and drive to it since your motor's in the back you don't have that hump you have to walk over like you do on a gas burner in the front but anyway folks this unit like i was saying earlier it's 39.9 haggle free with the inspection and the walkthrough and it includes some other little perks too like a starter kit with all your hoses and chemicals and adapters that you might need and include some instructional DVDs and like I said it includes a walkthrough by one of my RV techs after it's been checked out of course and they'll spend as much time with you as you need to show you how to operate everything and give you tips suggestions a lot of good information there a lot of people even videotape the walkthrough so you can go back you know at your own leisure and and if you have any questions that's a great way to do it too but anyway folks 39.9 while it lasts haggle free unless you want to take it as is the good with any possible bad it might have and it, it will discount the price for that um 49,000 miles no check engine lights service records almost new tires michelins on it no cracked windshields no water damage no stains no odors everything you know we'll make sure everything all the major systems work correctly i mean folks there's really no way to go wrong at 39.9 for this kind of motor home uh financing you know i know it's a 2000 model we still have some limited financing and folks let me tell you right now on these older coaches the nada book value is nowhere near the market value I mean, folks, if you could buy these things for what the retail says it's worth, I would have a, a thousand of them out here. You can't even buy one wrecked for what the NADA says one of these is worth complete because it's a 2000. When you get over that 10-year mark on an RV's age, the NADA and the book value are polar opposites. So you will have to have some money down, quite a bit money down, if you want to finance this coach. And like I said, folks, if you can find me one of these as nice as this for what the NADA retail says it's worth, hell, I'll give you $5,000 just to bring it to me and let me buy it from you. <laughs> I'll give you $5,000 profit, but, you know, it, it's not going to happen. Uh, I look at these things every day, and like I said, when you get into these older motor homes, you can just throw that book away. The best way to get a value, and I tell people this, is just Google 2000 model Fleetwood Discovery 37G see how many of them you can find in this kind of condition with all the amenities that this one has the condition it's in the mileage see how many of them you can find for this price in this kind of condition i mean you'll be looking for a long time and you're going to come right back to this one because you're going to see that there's not a better deal out there considering the condition now you can buy one that needs some work you know that ceiling might be hanging down or needs tires it needs service has 150,000 miles on it you might find one of them for a few grand less than this one but by the time you fix it up you're you're going to have way more in it than you would this one by the time you fix it up and still and then it still won't be as nice as this one and have three times the mileage so and folks like i said do your research that's what the internet's good for google is a rv buyer's best friend because with a few keystrokes you can see pretty much every one of these for sale in the country and most of them will have a price on it and you can see pictures condition mileage all that stuff and folks we were one of the largest oldest and most successful independently owned used rv dealerships in the country today we're the oldest licensed bonded and insured rv dealer in the state of georgia have been for a while now 
And folks, our prices, are they're made to move. They're not made to sit around. You won't find much on my lot that's been here more than two months because we price these things to sell. We don't price them for grass to grow under them. I mean, these things go very, very fast. And when you go out there and you see what kind of diesel you can buy for under $40,000, and compare it to this one there's no comparison uh, you know we sell one to four units every single day we sell five to six hundred a year we have over 170 used RVs in stock lowest prices on the internet folks in other words if you spend your time to come travel here to Ringgold Georgia to look at our inventory I can pretty much guarantee you you're going to find something you're going to want to buy and when you get online and you compare prices you're going to see ours is the lowest priced one out there I mean, these are, you know, our RVs are just extremely hand-picked, the best of the best, and we price them to sell. 49 years in business, there's not much we haven't seen, folks. We'll trade for just about anything that we can legally sell, and, um, and much more. Like I said, financing's available uh, with down payment and approved credit. Uh, we have... We also have nationwide delivery that we can help arrange and much, much more, folks. Give us a call, 706-965-7929, evenings and Sundays, 423-605-6747. 49 years, three generations, family-owned and operated RV dealership here, folks. No commission salespeople, so no games, no gimmicks, no surprises, uh, no extra fees. You know, these other dealerships are going to charge you three, four, five thousand dollars in extra fees on top of the sales price for a motorhome like this. Dock fees, prep fees, tag fees, title fees, freight fees, processing fees, corporate fees, get ready fees. I mean, they come up with names for them every single year and they're all 100% ripoff fees. They're all 100% profit and 100% unnecessary to purchase a used or new RV. Folks, the price is 39.9 out the door. Since we are a Georgia dealer, we do have to collect sales tax for Georgia residents only. All out-of-state residents, you will pay your sales tax rate from your home state when you tag and title this motorhome at your local DMV office. So, uh, you know, if your sales tax rate's lower than ours, that's going to save you a lot of money. And Georgia's one of the few states in the union that lets you do that. Other states, you've got to pay that sales tax rate from where you buy the motor home at. And when you're, you know, when you're talking a lot more than what you pay at home, that's thousands of dollars extra. So give us a call, folks. Drop us an email, sales at parkwayrvcenter.com. Look forward to seeing everybody here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.